Hello everyone. This quick video discusses the hardware software specification document. The learning objective for this document is that students should be able to create a hardware and software specification. The hardware software specification is used if new hardware or software must be purchased. It communicates the project needs in detail. The actual acquisition of hardware and software it may be done by a purchasing department, especially in larger firms. That is, the software and hardware isn't necessarily purchased directly by the systems analyst or IT department. So the purchasing needs must be written in detail. Here's an example from the textbook of a hardware software specification. You can see across the top the different hardware that is needed. It looks like this organization is using an N-tier client server architecture. If your project uses a different architecture, then you'll have a different set of hardware across the top and a different number of columns in the table. However, you should always have the same rows in the table. The first column should always look the same. You should detail the operating system that you'll need, any special software, any hardware, and any network requirements. Technology is changing all the time, especially hardware and network options. So it's important as an information technology professional to stay up to speed with what is on the market. Because this is the case, we won't spend a lot of time in this class talking about what hardware and network options are available to you. Rather, for the purpose of this class and for the project, you'll do a little research on your own of what hardware and network options are available to you to include in the project. There are also additional exercises in the back of Chapter 8 if you'd like more practice.